Hey guys, it's Derek here. Today we are going to go over some more pre-orders that I've added on for 2021. So this is going to be a quick part two, and I thought it'd be a great time because we're halfway through the year in June now. So if you guys are curious what else I've already pre-ordered, you can go check it out over there. I've linked it there and also down in the description. Starting us off in July, I have an Aniplex figure coming in, the Tomioka Gyu from Demon Slayer. Now with the recent popularity, it really got me curious and I was already watching the anime pretty intensely and I also got to watch the movie as well. But I ended up actually reading all of the manga within about two days and I'm super hooked. So I ended up picking this one up. I think that the Aniplex line for all of the Hashira is the best. So if you had to pick one lineup and you had to go and get all of them, I would get the Aniplex one. I think I ended up paying about 380 after tax Canadian for this because I had to pick them up locally. But if you want to pick them up for retail, which I don't think you can anymore, you'd be looking at about 1500 yen. 15,000 yen. Man, that'd be a steal, 1500. Moving our way into August, I have another Demon Slayer figure coming in, and that is Rengoku, also from Aniplex. We're only collecting Aniplex. They did give him a run for his money this time around though, because the Mega House for offering actually looked pretty good. I already kind of know what Mega House gives on a regular basis, so I was really tempted to pick that one up, but this one just beat it out because it was in a more iconic pose, a more straightforward pose. Got him for about 14,000 yen, and I picked him off of picked him off of I picked him up off of Nin Nin game and we're we're gonna wait until we're gonna wait to see how that turns out and to round out the demon slayer corpse in September I have a shinobu coming in also from Aniplex I don't think there's any question here she is definitely the best looking one out of all of them she's jumping in the air doing a backflip with the butterflies this one really reminded me of resin statues and those if any of you guys are looking into them those cost like five, six hundred dollars. And if you were to pick up one, like you'd probably want to pick up all of them. At least I know I would. And since there's eight Hashira, that would mean there'd be eight of them. Future Derek here. Just want to correct myself real quick and tell you guys, I know that there are nine Hashira. So before you get your pitchforks out, there we go. And back you go. Plus all the main characters and then if you want to pick up the upper moon demons and all that other stuff, it's like speed running going poor. I picked her up for $315 locally, and you can pick her up for about 15,000 yen. Definitely the best looking Shinobu you can pick up that is officially licensed. So for this next pre-order, I'm not entirely sure if he's gonna release in October. It just says Q4 2021, so we'll all find out together. And that is the quarter scale Vegeta from LX Studios. He is an unlicensed statue, but I thought I would make an exception because he's Vegeta, my favorite character from Dragon Ball Z, best of the Z fighters in my opinion, just really unlucky with how he freaking fights people, never gets to get all the glory, poor guy. I just think he's really cool. He has three heads that you can plop on, we have a Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan 2, and his regular form. There's also a spear bust that you can plop a head on as well. There's a ton of detail on there, a lot of battle damage. Looks absolutely stunning. I would say he looks right, he looks good and right up there with the Sume Vegeta, which is the Majin Vegeta. I think I like this one a little better. And I'm not just saying that because this one is the one I'm getting. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of Majin Vegeta as a design, but that's just me. This one was about $490 US before shipping. And because he's so freakishly large, Shipping is going to cost me an arm and a leg. I would love to display him next to all of my bunny figures, all of my bunny girls that are also in quarter scale form. It's going to be funny because I think they're all roughly going to be the same height because Vegeta's really short. November is going to be a great month as well. We have another freeing bunny girl and this is the Lacus Klein from Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny. Now this is really nostalgic for me because I used to build Gundam model kits a whole bunch and Seed and Seed Destiny designs for their Gundams was just top notch. Lacus was really cool in the series and did a whole bunch to help. It was an auto automatic pre-order the moment they announced her. Just the way she looks is absolutely stunning. The white that they chose and the purple and gold trim looks great. The ears look a little kind of mechanical, so that's that's interesting. And the pink Haro is just adorable. It's it's kind of like, if I had to explain what a Haro is for someone who doesn't know, it's kind of like an R2-D2, you know? It's like a droid, follows you around, does things. It's really adorable, sometimes helpful, sometimes not. It retails for 28,000 yen and hopefully will be coming in on time. I would love to display her with the rest of my bunny girls. The white's definitely gonna pop and make her stand out, but in a good way. At this point, I don't think it's a video of mine if I don't have a rem in it. 
So to round off the end of 2021, I have a Hanfu Rem coming in from Furyu. This one's absolutely beautiful, looks great, has a ton of detail on it, and the way she's holding the lantern kind of reminds me of her Morningstar. So I don't know if they meant to do that, but it just looks great. This one's retailing for 27,000 yen, which is kind of a lot for a 1-7 scale. I definitely think it has potential to be Rem of the Year, and if Furyu keeps on coming out with different cultural dresses for Rem, I'm going to pick up all of them. No questions asked, I'm just gonna pick up all of them. And for anyone who stayed all the way to this point, I have one more to tell you guys, but keep this one a secret between me and you. I may have also pre-ordered a Aokiji from Jimmy Palace. This one will put me in the poorhouse. This one is beautiful, 1-6 scale, and post time skip version of him. I'm gonna have to say it really softly because I don't really want everyone to know. But this one comes out Q4 2021, hopefully. It may be delayed all the way to 2022 Q1. We will wait and see, but I am super excited. I got this one from Favor GK. There's no way I could pick up the very first version of Aokiji, the pre time skip version of him with his admiral outfit. That one is pretty much made of unobtainium because the only one I've ever seen being sold is a used one that's been opened and displayed and that's going for about 6,500 US. So a brand new one might cost you 10 grand. Do you know what you can do with 10 grand? It's a lot for one statue. I decided to get this one. He looks really great. Honestly, I don't really need the other ones and that's also kind of why I decided to get rid of my other Aokiji. If you guys want to know more about that, I have a regrets video that's somewhere, somewhere here. This one is a, this is a secret between me and you, so don't tell anyone. But yes, my name is Derek, and I will see you next time, hopefully. Go watch more videos and like things. Bye. <laughs>